Vertical menus at the bottom of a page is a very common feature on websites, and you can do it also very easily with the vertical element. Here I have one at the bottom, and I've done this just with the element, so no need to create separate links with buttons or text elements for each and every page. And like any menu you would expect, I can hover over it and navigate to the destination of that link. In this case, I've also set up my footer as a global block, so it easily populates on each and every page. Let's go into Brizzy and see how it is done. Hello, my name is JP and welcome to Brizzy. Remember to subscribe to the channel, also give us a like. We're looking at how to bring in a vertical menu to the bottom of your page. You can actually use it many places on your page. I also like to use it sometimes on mobile menus at the very top. This is a pro feature, either Brizzy Cloud or Brizzy WordPress. So we go first to our elements drawer here on the left and we look for our menu element, click, drag and drop and put it in that spot that where it fits so perfectly. This is the default setting. So it almost looks like it's vertical. Actually, it's just forced line breaks. Let's change the color first and I'll go to my text. I'll put that on white. Also for the others, I'm just going to put them all on white so it's easy to see. This we did by clicking on any of the menu elements to get this color control. To set the vertical setting, we have to go to the element settings. Let me just show you. It's a little bit different. As you hover over it, you'll see the box, and that is the element container box. So we access the settings up here in the top right corner. Then we go all the way to the left. Another one that could be a little confusing, but this is where you set the menu. You can choose your menu if you have more than one, and I'll explain in a bit why I would recommend you may want to create a second menu just for this. Here you have an option for a hamburger, not what we're going to do. And this is the baby we are interested in, orientation. Click on this and that gives you the vertical layout. Let's click outside to see how that looks. A few things we have to do here. For the alignment, let's go back to the element settings and click on the alignment until we have it flushed all the way to the left. Then go back to our settings for the menu and spacing, let's increase that to around, I think, what, 26? You choose the value that fits you. From here, click on any of the links and you can set the topography. I'll put this on subtitle. I like that style. And you can also set custom values here for what you want to achieve. You have your colors, which we had played with. And then for your settings, you have your normal padding. And you can also add corners if you did put it in some kind of background color. At the very beginning, I mentioned you may want to create a second menu for many of these instances. And that is when you have sub menus. As I click on my home page, you will see I have a sub menu here called Home 2. Also, on my yacht models, I have yacht details. This doesn't play that well with a vertical menu. You cannot just turn off the sub menu leveling. You will have to go into your menu system, create a second menu, and only keep your top level menu links. And now your page is ready to be navigated through the rocky oceans of the internet. From me, JP, until next time.